2011, my sister came up with a recipe for what now is our spicy feta spread. We ate it at home, uh, something that family loved, friends loved, and um, sort of a ready-to-go item when I entered business school in 2012 and thought I'd like to maybe do something, uh, you know, do something and apply what I'm learning uh, to a business. We took the original one with a, a, a red pepper uh, feta and cream cheese blend. We have a basil and rosemary, a cucumber and dill, which is really similar to a tzatziki sauce. And then we have a fourth that's a kind of a spicy habanero uh, blend. So we do a number of farmers markets throughout the cities. Um, the main retail stores are the Kowalski's chain and the Lunds and Byerly's chain. Um, and then we're in a number of co-ops throughout Minnesota. What's interesting about our company is we do one thing and we do it really well. We do feta cheese spreads, we don't do anything else, we don't do hummus, we don't do baba ganoush, we don't do anything else. So we put a lot, lot of time and thought into each, uh, each individual recipe. So I think our flavors are more interesting and more flavorful than anything else out there. And when I started, I had this idea that we'll just see what happens and you know we'll kind of go one day at a time kind of a thing. And so to see it go from one farmer's market um, in 2012, which we did only three days, you know, July 1st and the 15th and August 15th to 75 retail, you know, retail stores. And we just sold, I think, our four, over 40,000 tubs uh, last month. So, I mean, we're, it's crazy. They connected us with Medallion Labs, who did a round of, uh, a round of nutritional testing for us. And um, then they took those test results kind of melded them with, with what we had previously and said, here's how you're going to handle this moving forward. We'll help you get a label set up. And then as you go forward every year when you test, you know, you'll kind of aggregate your stuff together and you'll have more and more information and, and you'll, you know, just kind of keep referring back to it, so to speak. So it was really, really helpful because that kind of stuff is, I don't know, when you're a food entrepreneur, it seems like, well, how do, how do you do that? How do you create a, a label? So that was extremely helpful.